So, where do we start? Where do we start? Six boats. Yeah. Well, we so we went to um, Greece. We flew to Corfu, didn't we? We did. And it was pissing down. Mm. It was biblical, wasn't it? Much worse than Manchester. Got on, well, we got on a ferry and we went over to where did we go? Igaminitsa. Igaminitsa. And we saw Bavaria. Um, which, well, it was a bit of a nostalgic trip, wasn't it? Because we didn't actually... Well, this this Bavaria was really the reason that we were going to this bit of Greece in the first place, because it was the first boat that had been looked at boats online quite a lot, with single down as being a good option. Yeah, so we, we yes, yeah, so we went to see, it was an old Bavaria, so we thought an older, sturdier, back in the day when we first started thinking about this, that seemed like maybe a viable option within the, the budget, because we're sort of at the lower end of the budget. Obviously you can spend as much as you like on a boat, but looking sort of at the lower end. But yeah, we weren't, I think our, th our thinking had come on since, I think for us we were looking at sort of a seaworthy, sturdy, sturdier boat. Then what did we do? We we drove to Lefkas, Lefkada, and we looked at Victoria 34. Um, which is really cute. I think originally we thought it was going to be too small and we were expecting to get on it and think, no, like we need more room. But actually, I quite liked it, didn't we? Yeah. So um, we did. It was lovely. It was really well kept and it felt like a, a manageable size for the two of us. And the whole trip actually made us rethink really what was important to us and um, there was some real positives of having a shorter length, not least cost when it comes to marina fees mm -hmm. and repairs and fuel um, and manageability, obviously offset by having a slightly smaller boat um, without separate cabins, so there's one separate mm. um, forward cabin which is quite small mm. and then the saloon turns into a big bed which would be great and then there's a sort of coffin type cabin that's open at the front so mm. less visitor potential but we started to think about why we were really buying the boat. Mm. For us. <laughs> <laughs> Not visitors. <laughs> well, no, but yeah, first and foremost, like, it's got to work for us. And yeah, it felt manageable, didn't it? And it was really well looked after. It had all the gear we could like, barring a few like questions, we could potentially put it in the water and go. It didn't need major work, which no. some of the others and then the next day we saw a Trident 38. Yeah, which was a proper ship, wasn't it? Yeah, it we've, was seen, we've seen seen other people look at these. Yeah, the same videos. And yeah, you've seen this on others. But so it was really, it was really good to get on. Like you could, see, I was saying, like if you were four lads wanting to put in a little bit of money each and go on an adventure and put in some graft and really do it up and have like a proper ship. It was just massive, wasn't it? It just felt massive. Yeah, and that was one of the things that was really interesting about this trip, was we started this whole thing thinking that we wanted a 38-foot boat, possibly even a bit bigger, mm. 39, possibly 40. Um, the first one we got on was 39, and that was too big. Mm. This 38 was probably too big as well. Yeah. Um, I mean, it was great, it had loads of storage. I mean, it yeah. had more storage than you could shake a stick at. <laughs> Too much actually. Lots of hiding places. You wouldn't even really have to rationalise your things. <laughs> you just fit everything in. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was just too big. It was, it was too big. big for us. So then we went to then what? Oh, then we went from like drastically to we went to see a Marlow, a Sunbeam 37, um, which was definitely at the top end of our, our budget, but. You know, in the pictures, it was beautiful, you know, mahogany interior, teak deck, really comfortable aft cabin, centre cockpit, comfortable forward cabin. I think a huge aft cabin. Yeah. With a bed that you could walk all the way around. Oh, I mean, <laughs> extremely comfortable. <laughs> it did look lovely. Um, yeah. Two heads or one? I can't remember. I think one, but really one. good song. For the money, like, we were quite surprised. I was worried that I was going to get on it and be like, oh my God. I completely love it. 
and like what we're gonna do. Um, but it didn't it felt? A, it was very swanky. It's very swanky. The standing rigging was its original standing rigging, um, which again would have been, and the price had taken that into account. To be fair, so, but that would have been a worry and something to deal with in the not so distant future. Um, it was the owner had kept it immaculately. I mean, to be fair, but there was a lot of gadgets and gizmos. Um, in mouse furling. Electric winches, in mouse furling, davits. Um, I think it had a windlass on the back for um, spare anchor. All really, really nice, very comfortable, but just it's something else to go wrong. Um, and yeah, it just wasn't for us really. I don't mm -hmm. think. Um, so that was actually a relief, wasn't it? Because it was got... actually, yeah. The Demo. next one was a Catalina oh, yeah. or a Catalina, yeah. which is one that I'd seen online and thought looked really comfortable actually. And yeah. It's an American boat, an American sort of coastal cruising boat basically. Yeah. Um, maybe a little bit like their version of the, the Benitos and Bavarians. Yeah. So Catalina 36 Mark II was needed a lot of TLC. It could be done, it totally could be done, yeah. but it was a big undertaking. Um, Had it been the right bow, I think we might have taken it on, mm. but it, it wasn't actually, it wasn't really the type of boat we were looking for. Probably really comfortable for a family looking to cruise the coast. Yeah, coastal cruiser wasn't it? Not yeah. And then what did we see after that? So that was quite a full day. And then uh, we got taken on, it was a Genoa Sun Odyssey and it was, we more, it was a 37 and we got on to see yeah. what we thought, thought, thought about the 37. We couldn't actually get in the boat because we um, couldn't find the key, but we weren't, you know, it wasn't a definite option. Um, I think we'd wanted to see Sun Odyssey because we looked at so many of them online Yeah, we thought it was, of those kind of boats, probably the best option. Yeah. And I think... I think we've just ruled that kind of boat out, it looked fine actually. Yeah. 37 was probably slightly too big, again confirming what we thought about ourselves. Yeah. So where are we now then? So we've, we've ruled out the production boats I think, just because we don't we don't want to limit ourselves to longer passages in the future and I think also if we're going to put some love into a boat and like invest in things, we don't want to like do that to a production boat and then have to Sell try and sell it, and buy, you know, and and actually, having got on a few, quite a lot now, um, it's definitely the sturdier, kind of older, the older, the older birds that we're going for. And um, yeah. so, so yeah, I think so. We, we got back last week. Um, a lot of food for thought, a lot of questions. I think. Definitely out of what we saw, mm. Victoria Victoria 34, um, we sort of can't stop thinking about really. But there's a few in the UK, isn't there, that we might go and have a look at. Moody. Yeah. Uh, we've got Moody and yeah, maybe a couple of others. So. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Keep you updated. But good trip. Good trip. We ate lots of um, pastry cover things and a lot of oil. A lot of olive oil, a lot of pastry, um, with cheese in it. Oh my god, maybe that's why I'm shy. No, I'm shy because um, yeah, so it was a good trip, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> so we'll keep you updated. That's yeah. where we Good. Happy with that? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not, Kath. No, we didn't. <laughs> good first try. You did it though. Yeah. It's our first vlog, so we were thinking about what cushions that we, one's back random actually moving the washing birds oh we moved the washing um, but we've got a globe which is quite appropriate yeah. and yeah. that's it that's it well then bye for now <laughs> nice i look really shiny i don't think you do but if you want some powder <laughs> i can get i can easily put you powder. some powder on hold on yeah, powder sounds good. Okay. Pardon? Have you got stuff on your lips? No. Okay. I've got some. Just a bit of lip balm or something like that. Yeah. That's better. Right. Mm -hmm.
Thanks for watching guys. Join us next time as we buy a boat, leave the UK, settle into life in Greece, get stuck into some hard graft, also have a little bit of fun. And launch the boat.